Hi everyone. Uh, yeah, so I went to the car boot this morning. Uh, it's extremely hot. So yeah, allow me a little bit. But um, just thought I'd show you what I got. So first up, one of the more interesting items to be fair is this Solid Snake figure from Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, the guy wanted 250, so I gave him two quid. And it's a McFarlane Toys figure from 2001. And uh, probably worth a tenner maybe. Metal Gear Solid figures are not produced in any crazy numbers, so yeah, worth grabbing if you see them. I got these two PSP games, uh, these were a pound each, so I got a Monster Hunter game and Gran Turismo. Hope to get about five pound each for these. I grabbed this copy of GTA uh, 5 on the Xbox 360 in the Steelbook, uh, it was three pound, so yeah, I mean obviously I just bought it because it was in the Steelbook basically. Um, condition isn't bad, there's a few... There's a few little knocks on it, but but not much. Uh, it's quite nice. I mean, in terms of the value, pff, don't know. Not not loads, not loads. I mean, um, we'll see. I'll see if I can get like a tenner for it or something. Unless I keep it for my steelbook collection. I've got like a small, a small steelbook collection, uh, which is just random steelbooks that I have. But. I don't tend to invest a lot of money into that collection, it's more so like if I pick something up for a pound or something then I might keep it, or if it's mint. This was somewhat interesting because I wouldn't have usually have like looked this up, but because I was watching a guy on YouTube recently who was talking about all the sort of more like niche sports games, um, I decided to check it out and yeah, I thought it was worth grabbing, it's only 50p and I could maybe sell it for like eight quid or something so obviously it's an Aston Villa football game for the Xbox box complete disc is good yeah not bad uh, I got Toe Jam and Earl uh, so I did see this last week uh, but I think they were asking like a tenner or something so it was down to two pounds this week so I thought I'd grab it um, I've had this before I think it's worth about a tenner uh, Toe Jam and Earl 3 on the Xbox original box complete Disc isn't too bad, probably do just a little bit of a clean, but um, yeah, decent for two quids. Th these were from the same seller and they were all listed at two pound each, so I had the three for a fiver. Uh, there's no mega value there, but they're in good condition. So you've got Spider-Man 2, uh, Hello Kitty and Stitch, which is... Um, Yeah, stuff. Um, so yeah, I would say these are probably worth about a fiver each, roughly. They're easy to post and they're in good condition. So kind of stress-free, stress-free profit. Uh, so this one comes with a sticker set, which is rather nice. Um, it says free gift on the front, so that's in there. Or I'm certainly assuming that's what they're referring to. But yeah, they're all in good nick. Um, I picked up some more VHS this week. Um, I don't like to make too much of a habit of it because who wants to have loads of VHS lying around? But these were 50p each, uh, so I gave it a quid for the three. I actually picked it up mainly for Thomas the Tank Engine because um, Claggy clued me up that these are worth money. But this one isn't worth a lot. I think it's more so like the original series, whereas this is like the film. So that's not great. I think Winnie the Pooh actually seems like it could be okay. Winnie the Pooh sing a song with Pooh Bear. I think maybe that's like a tenor or something, I hope. And then Bill and Bad. And then Bill and Ben, um, Garden Games. Not a bad one, nice. Nice green bird. Um, seems okay, you know. Probably get, you know, well, I'd hope to get like three quid for it or something, so. Yeah, that was okay. There was a guy there selling a shit ton of VHSs, uh, and they were all a pound and he wouldn't budge. So I looked Dungeons and Dragons up on eBay and there was one that sold for like 25 or best offer, so I grabbed this. Um, it wasn't this one specifically, so I don't know how much this is worth, but I'd hope to get like a tenner or something, maybe. It was in good neck as well, so. 
And then off that same guy, I went back and bought these two. So these were two pound for the pair. Um, obviously, Gremlins and Gremlins Two. And I'll just sell these as a bundle. Hopefully, get a tenner. I definitely prefer the original Gremlins one. I'd actually be tempted to keep that, to be fair, because it it hasn't got the the stripe across the the top. See there, it's a screen classics. Obviously, you know, that kind of branding kind of makes it a bit less desirable, I would say. And yeah, I mean, I don't have many VHSs, but I do have some. Um, like I've got Robocop, for example, which is quite a nice 90s one. And that kind of fits that remit. So I never really, well, I never really thought until now that I might keep it, but to be fair, there is some like sort of wear to the, to the inlay there, which not the end of the world, but Gremlins is more like a nice to have. It's not one that I'm looking for. Um, the, the VHSs that I am kind of actively looking for are more so um, 90s thrillers. So I like so Fatal Attraction, Basic Instinct, uh, just because I love that genre so much. And I've got like a couple. I think I've got like Disclosure, I think it is. And The Hand That Rocks the Cradle I've got. So that's more my lane, uh, but We'll see. I saw a load of series box sets on a stall. I think there was uh, MI5 series or something, and then there was this series as well, Numbers. So I had a quick look on CEX, and the only one that was worth getting was Series 6, which is this one, the final series. So I just grabbed this uh, for a pound, and I think it trades in for like four quid, so decent. But then kind of, when I looked afterwards on eBay, I sort of thought, if I would have just bought all the series of this, like six pounds, say, or maybe I could have had them all for fiver, probably. Uh, I might have been able to get like 20 quid on eBay for the full season, but still not bad. It's just a bit of CEX credit, really. There was a period not very long ago where I didn't really even look at box sets, and I think ever since I kind of started to use the CEX app, it's made me more like, a lot more aware that oh, you can make money with box sets. Uh, obviously certain ones you can't because they're just online, people don't don't care. But if it's like something that they can't really find online, then you can make money, so, or credit, obviously. Californication seals, this was three pound. Um, the only thing is, it's like it's badly damaged here and stuff, but I still thought it was worth getting. It's a difficult one, really, because it is damaged. If I trade this in, I think it'd be four pound, but obviously because it's sealed. I don't know if you know this, but basically, I think when you hand in sealed stuff to CX, they unseal it for whatever reason. So you don't get any extra value for it being sealed, meaning you're probably better off selling it on eBay. So if I sold this on eBay and I got a 10 for it, I'd take that. It was one of them where I sort of wasn't really sure because it was a bit damaged, but I just got it. So yeah, I don't know the series, but I know the name. Uh, this one I think was two quid. Uh, I think CX credit for this was like six pound, but I'll probably sell it on eBay for like a tenner. The Street Series 1 to 3. Uh, the woman who sold it me was telling me it was really good. So I saw um, these big figures in a box, these big Liverpool figures. So I had a quick look on eBay and I was like, they could be worth getting. I think he wanted two quid each, so I thought I might just buy the two for like three quid or something. Um, but then he did have like this box. Uh, so it's like Corinthians, basically. Liverpool ones. Uh, so we got, you know, Fowler, Rush, we've got McManaman, amongst others. So he said you can have the box for six quid. I said, do you do the box for fiver? And he was like, yeah. So, so I grabbed the box and I just thought... So I grabbed the box. So I grabbed the box and I just thought I um, could sell these in a, in a bundle. I reckon I'll probably get 15 or something for them. And then if I just stick the um, Corinthians on an, on an auction, you know, there's probably like, I don't know, eight there or something. I'll probably get like a fiver or something, I would have thought. One of them's missing an arm. I think it's Rush, which is a bit of a shame. But the, there's like the little cards and things in there that they came with. And then this buy was actually inspired by Cleggy as well because... Um, Cleggy picked up a bag of these mini sort of Corinthians not long ago for a couple of quid and so I think he sold for like 20 quid or something. So obviously this is quite a big bag, two pound. Oh yeah, they do say Corinth... They do say Corinthians on them, but I think these are called Micro Stars. 
So this is a big mixed bag. I mean, there's got to be a good 30, 40 in there, I would have thought. You've got the likes of Figo, got Bartez, the United Keeper. You've got, you know, Smith. These ones are a bit different. They're sort of like players doing like a slide tackle and stuff like that. That's Owen. <laughs> That's Owen. Um, Anelka. This is some quite cool ones. I don't know how much these are worth, but they are quite cool. Schweinsteiger. I might do some research on these to see if there's any individuals that are worth money, but obviously, you know, there's a chance I might just sort of auction them. Typically, I don't sell things on auction, but there's also like certain things that I feel like it's worth just auctioning because it's just easy, isn't it? It's just, it's, you know it's going to sell quickly, you don't have to like wait around and whatever. These vinyls were a pound each. So I bought these three, uh, so three pound, and they're all um, Fleetwood Mac. So I just thought, you know, bundle them in it, sell them as an auction. Uh, so we've got Fleetwood Mac Mirage, is it? Mirage something. We've got Rumours and we've got, I think it's just called Fleetwood Mac. So I looked up Rumours and it seemed quite decent really, like you know, 10, 15 or something. So I thought if I bundled these three together, it's got to be worth 20, 30 quid, you know, I would have thought. Condition wise, I haven't like looked at the vinyls really closely. I looked at one of them and it looked fine. There's a little bit of wear down this edge here, but minimal really. The more significant wear is there in the corner of this one. But, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think collectors wise, you know, people who just want to listen to these would be happy. I think the kind of people who are going to buy these more just be like people who just want to sort of have them and to listen to them and whatnot. So I don't know if, you know, that's going to sort of bother people too much. It's a nice little bundle, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, so that was the day, really. I mean, it was an early start, you know, up at five. Um, I only got about three hours kept, so I wasn't knackered like, but there wasn't a lot of gaming today. Like, I saw, I saw like a few people who were selling like PS2 games and stuff, but they were really, you could tell they were kind of like just the games that no one wanted. I know there was a guy ahead of me the one time who, who picked up a few games. I think he had Space Invaders something or other and a couple of others. I don't know whether he got any good ones. I don't think he got anything crazy. Well, he definitely didn't, but whether he got anything that I would, would have bought for my collection, you know. It's more so when, when you get that sort of shelf filler type stuff, it's more likely that I'd be buying something for myself rather than for profit because um, it just isn't any profit in it. Like I said last week, I'm, I'm really happy to kind of buy stuff for my collection, really. It's, it's more fun. But yeah, that's that's the buys. That's the buys. Uh, so yeah, if anyone's got any thoughts on any of it, let me know. And uh, until then, stay hunting and more importantly, stay humble. <laughs>